What's a black hole? What is the structure of a black hole? How a black hole is formed? What are the types of black holes? And what would happen if you fell into a black hole? For getting the answers, stay with me till the end of this video. Number 1. What's a black hole? A black hole is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, no particles or even electromagnetic radiation such as light can escape from it. Number 2. What's the structure of a black hole? A black hole has singularity point and event horizon. Singularity point is the center of a black hole where time and space merge. The event horizon hidden by object surface. Beyond the event horizon, the escape velocity exceeds the speed of light and because of this nothing, even the rays of light can escape into space. Number 3. How a black hole is formed? A black hole can be formed by the death of a star that is 3 to 4 times more massive than the sun. The mass of sun is known as solar mass and one solar mass is equal to the mass of 0.333 million earths. Stars with a smaller amount of mass evolve into less compressed bodies, either white dwarfs or neutron stars. Some black holes have non-stellar origins, but what's meant by non-stellar origins? It means that large volumes of interstellar gas collect and collapse into supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies. Number 4. What are the types of black holes? There are three types of black holes. Number 1. Stellar black holes. Number 2. Intermediate black holes. Number 3. Supermassive black holes. Number 1. Stellar black holes. These black holes are formed when massive stars explode leaving behind a black hole with a mass of just a few suns. Number 2. Intermediate black holes. These bodies could form when stars collide in a chain reactions and usually contain the mass equivalent to hundreds and thousands of suns. Number 3. Supermassive black holes. They exist in the hearts of galaxies and usually contain a mass equivalent to millions and billions of suns. So let's move to the most interesting question in this video. Number 5. What would happen if you fell into a black hole? To be honest, the prognosis isn't great whichever sort of black hole you select. Suppose you are wandering in the universe and searching for planets. At the same time you observe a black hole eating up planets, stars and galaxies and you wanna see where are they going inside the black hole. If you leaped heroically into a stellar mass black hole, you are going to experience spaghettification. But what's meant by spaghettification? In this process, the extreme gravity of a black hole would compress you from top to top while stretching you at the same time like spaghetti. So ultimately you are going to be dead because of extreme stretching forces of the black hole. But wait, a supermassive black hole has slightly less horrendous effect. So let's imagine that you opt for a supermassive black hole. For example, Sagittarius A star is a supermassive black hole at the center of Milky Way galaxy. Your journey into Sagittarius A star would begin after you slope over the event horizon. And this event horizon is also known as point of no return. Now after entering the Sagittarius A star black hole, you are going to experience the following things. Number 1. You would be able to see out from inside. But none would be able to see you because light can't escape from black hole. Number 2. Although the gravitational force of a supermassive black hole is much stronger than small black holes, the stretching tidal force is less, which means you won't be turned into spaghetti. But the bad news is you wouldn't be able to get out, or could you? And this hope to escape from a black hole lies in the theory of white holes in the next video.